talking about any of the services provided by Amazon Web Services, there are certain components that we need to understand. Point one, regions. There are total 16 regions wherein cloud data centers are present. We can talk it as the physical architecture of data center, uh, cloud. Let's start with North Virginia, Ohio, North California, Oregon, Mumbai, Seoul, Singapore, Sydney, Tokyo, Central Frankfurt, Ireland, London, Paris, and Sao Paulo. When I say 16 regions, it doesn't mean it is limited to that. It rather means that cloud is expanding, AWS is expanding. Point two. Regions are not interconnected. That means if we are creating any of the services in Mumbai region and if we wish to access that region, access that services from North Virginia, it is not possible. They are not interconnected. Any of the services which is created in any of the other region cannot be used in another region. Every region has got availability zones. Availability zones are the physical locations where actual data centers are created. For example, we are working in Mumbai. One of the avail availability zones can be Andheri, and then another availability zone can be Thani. So those are the physical location. Point. This is the physical architecture. Now comes the logical architecture. Logical architecture is all about the network topology. We will talk about VPC in the further sessions, but as of now, we will understand VPC is a network zone. It's a big network zone where actually the services would be created. And that big network zones are split into small, small subnets. Subnets are the small network zones. When we studied networking, there was something known as class A, class B, class C, class D. All the classes define the small range of IP addresses. The same way subnet has been created from VPC. Then comes the important point, purchasing options. But before we talk about purchasing option, we'll talk about hypervisor. What is a hypervisor? Off late, when we have started the conversation on cl cloud, we also talk about virtualization. Cloud inherits the concept of virtualization. When we talk about renting out services over internet, we are basically trying to say renting out service over a virtual media. How is the virtualization enabled? It is enabled using hypervisor. There are two types of hypervisor. One is type one, another is type two. Type one hypervisor is also known as hardware hypervisor. And type 2 hypervisor is also known as para, -virtual para virtualization. Now, what is hardware hypervisor virtualization or type 2 para virtualization? Let's assume or let's understand the normal structure of a normal computer. There's a hardware or a storage. On top of a storage, we have an operating system, and on top of operating system, we have applications running. However, when we talk about hardware virtualization, the operating system is directly replaced by a hypervisor getting installed on top of a storage. And on top of that storage, we get a privilege to install multiple operating system instead of a dedicated. And on those operating system has a privilege of running in parallel. We can install multiple operating system on a local system, but we cannot run them in parallel. But hypervisor gives us the privilege to of multiple OS run in parallel. This is hardware virtualization because it is directly on top of a hardware. Second comes para virtualization. There would be a hardware that is storage. On top of storage, we have an operating system and on top of operating system, we would be installing hypervisor. And on top of this hypervisor, we have a privilege of using multiple operating systems. The best example I can give about uh, para virtualization is the VMware that we use and create windows or Linux boxes on our local machine. If we are creating these windows or Linux boxes directly on top of a storage, that becomes our type 1 hypervisor. In cloud, mostly what we are going to use would be type 1 hypervisor. Also type 2 hypervisor privileges would be there. Amazon has not got his, its own hypervisor, rather Amazon has outsourced it. Now the next point is purchasing options. Purchasing options.